All right, so we're going to find the partial fraction decomposition. Yes, we are. And uh, real quick, uh, check these on the numerator. Yeah, so the numerator has a smaller degree than the denominator, so we're good to go. Start her up. Um, uh, there's I don't four know. things there, so All right, let's next factor problem. by grouping. Factor by grouping. That's not an option. Oh. Take out what these two have in common, which is x squared, and leaves you with x minus 1. What these have in common is... One. X, X, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh. Right? Wow, that's that's so tricky. So these are in common, the x minus ones, and they leave you x with, squared plus one. With, now there's that an irreducible quadratic. We've seen that exact one before today. We have. So this is going to be a over x minus one plus b x plus c over x squared plus one. Right. Okay. So. In this case, this is one where it may be better to try it the other way. Let's try the other one, okay. Um, and, and the way that really makes an issue is, is uh, the irreducible quadratic. Mm -hmm. Because before now, we've been picking things basically that ended up giving us zeros on the bottom of these, right. if you look back. Right. X squared plus one doesn't give you a no. zero. If you try to solve that, there's not a number you plug in there that cancels it well, out. Well, I. Well, right, there's not a real number. Uh, so let's go ahead and start it off the same way, same get way. our common denominators. Different starting, different in, same starting, different ending. Right. Okay. So again, common denominator. Now, the other thing that you may notice, uh, since we've done a few of these now, is, is basically what we're doing is multiplying both sides of this equation by that common denominator. Because that's what you're left with when right. it's all said and done. So if you can see that that's what's happening, I feel like it's okay for you to go ahead and go there. Is that appropriate? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, so here we go. We're setting this guy up. Now we're going to show you a, a, different, a slightly different technique here. Right. Okay? So that technique requires us to start off by actually distributing or foiling on the right side. All the side. stuff out, yes. So this isn't going to change for now. No, nope. the left-hand side stays the same, but the right-hand side now is we're going to take a couple steps by FOIL and combining terms that are the same. Now, you'll have to really pay attention because they're going to look different, and there may or may not be anything that combines. Right. So we'll have to see. Uh, and this okay, FOILing may seem difficult. Just take it a step at a time. BX times X would be BX squared. BX times negative 1 is negative BX. C times X is CX. C times negative 1 is negative C. All right, looks good. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to group these together by what would be like terms, like kind of what you were right. saying. If so, these were actual numbers, X squared and X squared would add we together. We would add, right. And so what happens is that together those would make A plus B times x squared. Right. Think about it. If this was 2x squared plus 3x squared, that gives you 5x two, squared, which is 2 plus 3 times, times x, x squared. squared. Right. That's what we're doing is we're going to put the x squares together, add our like terms. Now let's group our x's together. So, so we're going to put negative b plus c. Because whatever those numbers right. are, that's what, Th that's would, add what it would add up. And then a and minus c, and they don't really have anything. But put it. Can, we should probably put them in parentheses anyway yeah. for what we're going we to do. We don't have to, but no. we're saying this is our, our numbers that are right. left over that don't have an x or an x squared, and that still equals x, x squared, squared plus four x. Yep, plus one. Now this is the this is kind of the tricky part to understand. In order for this to be a true equality, which we're saying it's an equality because of the equal sign. Right. That means that x squared has to equal a plus b times x squared. Right. In other words, a plus b has, has to, to equal, equal 1. The coefficient of this, right. which is 1. So 1 equals a plus b. Okay. okay. Same thing now for the for the, for the 4x X's. part. For okay. The X's. So, so 4x has to equal negative b plus c times x, which means 4 has to equal negative b plus right. c. And then 1 has to equal just our number now, which actually we don't have to change right. that Right, there's, there's nothing that changes. So 1 equals a minus c. Now, this is a system of three variables with 
three, three unknowns or three, three equations. Three yeah. equations. And so we can solve this by elimination, substitution, plugging into your calculator. Make a matrix. Whatever, whatever. you want to do. So basically, let's solve um, this one for A. Let's see how that works out. So subtract the B over. And let's plug that in down here. Sure. So that gives us, let's subtract the one over, that gives us zero equals negative B plus, not plus, no, minus, minus C. C. Mm -hmm. Which we can combine with the middle right, equation. which is why, that's where we were going with that. It's kind of tricky when you have three equations, and but two there, there are only two variables in each. So four equals negative B plus C. The C's cancel. We get four equals negative two B. So B is negative two. Okay, and now, so that's the, now everywhere now we see B, now, right. yeah, now it's no problem. Because A equals one minus B, negative two. which is negative two. So one plus two, which is three. Right, that's and your then A. And you can go either direction here. You like pick it for C. One equals A, which is three, minus, minus C. C. So you subtract the three over and get negative two, and then divide by negative one. So C equals two. Okay, so then we just plug these back in up here. This is... What was a three over yes. x minus one plus b x, which is negative two x plus c, which is two. Right, and I, I I would leave the negative two x alone in this case. I wouldn't put the negative in front because that messes up everything yeah. else. x squared plus one. Right. I'm not actually. I wasn't on the right problem there whenever I wrote that. Well, that, all that hey. looks good to me. So. So yeah, sure. Why not? Hey, now, one other thing that you could do as well, uh, you, you know, if you didn't see elimination right off the bat, you could set up a matrix. In your calculator. On your calculator yeah, with A, B, like and C. Yeah, where one, one, so, zero, one. Right. Zero, negative one, one, four. Right, right. One, zero, negative one, one. Right. Yeah. Okay, there you go.